So when Pillow Juji, my partner, rocks up, if my feet come up off the floor, he can reach behind his head, peel the feet off, and go into his turnout escape. So when he decides that he wants to come up from right here, I make sure that my left foot stays planted on the floor, and I use the inside of my knee right here as a stopper wedge. So as he comes up, my heel will get stuck underneath my knee and my hamstring right here. I take everything over the north hip, and I finish from there. All right, so one more time with the pillow juji. This time, when he rocks up, the stopper wedge fails, and my foot starts to drip, drift off of the floor. As that happens, I'm gonna keep my knees pinched together, and I'm gonna slide this foot all the way up onto my own calf. And from here, just a little pinch, and we get a break. This is almost like breaking a board over your knee, <laughs> like this. So again, as my foot comes up, my foot slides up on top, and you guys can see all that leverage going right into his elbow. When he opens his hands, I immediately come up and take a grip right here around his thumb. As he goes for the turnout, both hands come to it. And if he successfully does it, we get to here. I have to make sure that he can't extract his arm. So I'm pulling this super tight to me and locking my elbows down to my lats. I make a turn. My shin goes on the back of his head. And as I go here, I'm gonna make sure that I tuck my elbow underneath me for a tight roll. As we rotate through, we're gonna land in that pillow juji. So even as he's coming up, I'm able to use that stopper wedge and get the break over the north hip. So this time I'm in head scissor juji. My partner decides to separate his hands. As he separates, he pushes my leg off of his head. Immediately I'm coming up to that thumb grip again, and as he tries to rock up into me, I'm gonna slide my foot underneath and go right into that stopper wedge. If it fails and he comes up, we slide right up into our foot on shin position. All right, we're doing a lap bar finish. <laughs> we're gonna do a lap bar finish from our pillow juji this time. So as I come across here to the north hip, as my partner comes up, I feel like he's able to uh, really get me off the floor here like this. So I'm gonna focus on holding this down towards my armpit and passing my elbow in front. From here, I can clamp this down and hold it in position. And now I can finish this very tightly, but even if he throws my knee past here like this, if I protrude and I push this knee forward, I can still create a scissoring action from my hip and from my knee. Get a nice finish there with the tegatome. So, so from a pillow juji, as my partner is coming up, he's coming up towards me. I'm pulling everything over this top hip. Another way I can finish is with the lap bar. So if I hold this back here this direction and keep the tension tight, because unlike most arm locks, you can't actually control a pillow juji unless the arm is extended. Every other position, if you look at a three quarter or if you look at a full juji, if his hands are locked, I can still play this position. But if I go to a pillow juji position and we say he has his hands locked and we say let's play from here, my partner can rock up into me, he can get out of here. It's very hard for me to separate his hands. It's very hard for me to pin him down because I only have my foot behind his head. So in order to control a pillow juji, I need to be able to actually have his hand extended. So for that reason, most of the time that we do this, it's off of transitions. So if his hand's open from, say, a head scissor, his hand's open, boom, we're taking it over this top hip. Now I have a pretty controlling pillow juji because his arm is fully extended. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish, or I can pass it in front, controlling and making sure that I pull this down nice and tight, grabbing behind my hip. And now from here, I have a nice finish, and even if he throws that knee past, from here, I just extend my right knee into him and pull my left knee towards me. I have a very, very strong finish with the Tegatame armbar. Significant. I believe he only had 30 seconds last time yeah, he went for yeah, yeah, the arm. The arm. Okay, this is significant now. Losing the arm. And that's the Drive my left knee forward. I'm going to pin his wrist like I'm throwing a triangle. And when I throw this over the top, I'm not really going to get to the triangle. I'm going to get to here and I'm going to start pulling up on the person's head. That allows him enough space to push my knee. And as he pushes, I'm resisting, but that's gonna give me a pocket to slide my hook in. Put your hands up. From right here, as we get to this position, he's gonna try to push to separate. And as we get to this spot when we're belly down, this is the problem. His weight starts coming in on his own wrist, so it's very easy at this point to separate his hands. I go up to that hand grip, and as we rotate through, more than likely my foot passes across, and we're landing right into the pillow juji brace. From here, I'm gonna separate the hands, taking the top hand, eating it to this side. And you're gonna recognize this next part, because if I get here, and now he manages to, from this spot, bridge and get his elbow through this space, inside my knee here, this direction, we end up rolling. Notice where my right foot goes, behind the head. I'm already starting to control the hand and pull it over my left hip as we roll through. 
there's a lot of momentum, so it's hard to keep the foot posted on the floor. He's gonna rock up. As he rocks up, I'm sliding into that break by sliding my left foot up on top of my right ankle slash calf right here.